Hey everyone, we're here. Um, let me make sure audio's okay. I'm trying a new thing with the microphone and it seems to be working so far, so that's good. Now we're going to switch over to the amazing, amazing build screen. There we go. Check that shit out. There's Christie's hands showing off uh, most of a truck. We are definitely going to finish the hood in the front section tonight. I don't know how much further we're going to get. Probably, probably do the next step too. Can't guarantee that, but four and five seem pretty short. So, how's everyone doing? I see Andy and Lisa and Xenon in the chat. Glad to have you guys here. Hi, everyone. All right, this is still, yeah, I don't know about this microphone thing. It's still rubbing on my shirt really bad. How about like that? Hmm, yeah, this isn't going to work. This is like specific, like absolutely worse than it was before in every way, so I'm not sure why people do it like this. You're trying it with a, with a new sort of fancy loop. Yeah, exactly. All right, this kind of seems to work. We're going to try this for a bit. If there's too much interference, if there's too much interference, hi there, Gaston. Hi there. You want to lay down by me? He thinks I'm talking to him. You want to scooch through there? All right, it's okay. No. Go on. No. Gaston. Figure out where you're going, baby. Come on. I'm being a pain. Yeah, see, that's much easier. No, no, no. Just keep walking. Go, go. All right. I put a fax number on my website because it'd be funny. I did hear that. That's pretty excellent. All right, so my very first step for today is part of the 42078 Mac Anthem truck. I need a couple of these. Turn this down. Uh, how many of those do you need? One more. System plates. Let's spread it out a little bit so we can uh, get a good look. Oh, here it is. Got y'all some Lego ASMR up in here. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Let's see. Let me move my chair over a bit. Here we go. All right. So those go upside down for reasons. And then we need a wheel well. There we go. And two one by one system plates. Gray, these ones. Okay. No, wait. No, black. Um, no, that's some sort of. That's a slanty bit. That's some sort of triangle. Uh-huh. There's one. Oh, here's the other right next to it. Excellent. Oh, that's flat. I dropped it somewhere. Got away from me. Here we go. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And next we got a one by three. There it is. Christy sorting out some of the Technic pieces off to the side. I'm, uh, I'm trying my best to be a help. There we go. Now I need more of these. The, oh, right. that's a long triangle. Yeah. Like this one? Maybe. Or is it, or is it that one no, That's the right one. Okay. Triangly bits are my favorite. All right. Then we get one of these connectors in here eventually. There we go. Now I need a size 3 gray axle. That's one there. Can't uh, quite reach it. Oh, no, the axle. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. And one of these, and... One of something. The darker gray ones. It's, there it is. Alright, so now we got stuff to put. Hi, Risby. Why are you guys all up on me? 
You just want to know what I'm doing? Alright, so... Well, let's do it like it says in the instructions. We take these two. As we go. As we quit getting tangled up in the cables. Seriously. You're cute, but you're being annoying. Alright, now we slide that through there and attach this to the end. Gaston, don't you start either. Is that right? No, that's not right at all. The axle has to go through the cross. There we go. So it doesn't spin. Yeah. I guess the other parts. Oh, wait. There we go. Now it can spin a little bit. That's I mean, if you did it, if you twist fast enough, it becomes spinning. That's true. Nomenclature. Mm hmm. All right. Now I need. Over here. Dogs are being extra needy tonight. Stop. Stop. Here you go. You can lay there. Let's see. Okay. Now I need the truck, which means I need to push this stuff out of the way. Kind of slide it back like. Uh-huh. All right. Sort of. There we go. Good old truck. This out the way. Pull this back. I need it at this angle. Sort of. This piece is confusingly assembled by pushing it in where y'all can't see. Isn't that nice? I don't think they thought about camera angles when they were uh when, when they were designing this thing. No, I would be really surprised if they did. There we go. Now it's got part of a bumper. I guess I would be surprised, but I wouldn't be, like, the most surprised I've ever Mm-hmm. Lego's a hip company. They know what's cool. What's cool for kids is that, that... That Twitch thing. Everyone loves the Twitch. He is a terrific athlete. Right. That you can't make him look like a spider or whatever. <laughs> no, I just want to draw, like, the Twitch logo. Right here. There we go. I need another one of these one by four system plates. Uh, one by one to one by threes. Got all of the other kinds of system plates. Hooray! There system plates. So everyone doing good tonight. I am. Well, I am. I'm feeling pretty decent. Um, I need another wheel well thingy. Um, like one of one of these only doubled. Uh, I like that. That no. 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 That's, one of these only doubled. That's when you say doubled. I mean, it's like, it looks exactly like this, only it's one piece. Okay. Like this. That's the one, yes. Now I need two of the one by ones. There's one. Uh, nope. Uh, there you go. Hooray! Another one by three dark gray. There it is. This is just basically the mirror image of the other one. Right, so you fight it right before you fight the end. Yes. 
mirror match commence. All right. Oh, someone killed my brother. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> you seen that movie yet? Yeah. Uh huh. Good movie. I don't know about a good movie. It's a very enjoyable movie. <laughs> All right. Now I need size three and. That and that and that. Thing still looks like a piston, even though it's not a piston. I still say torch holder. <laughs> it does look like a torch holder. Someone speak up and tell me if you can hear Christy okay. Uh, I presume I'm fading in and out whenever I forget to project. Because we're both going off my lapel mic. There we go. One more on this side. She's okay? Awesome. Thank you. Now we grab the truck again. Oh, we don't need to turn it around because it's going to go on the side that's actually to camera. Yep. I mean, we could turn it around because then no one would be able to see it either time. Right, it'll remain a mystery. Exactly. Like evolution. <laughs> I don't know if evolution's really a mystery at this point. I think I know that evolution is a mystery. I, I think we're, we're pretty set on how that works. So, they're, so wrestling thing. Uh-huh. Triple H and Randy Orton and... Uh, Ric Flair were, mm -hmm. called, were called Evolution because mm -hmm. they were basically the same character at varying stages. Of uh huh. Keep going, Resby. And their uh, their theme music specifically said Evolution is a mystery, <laughs> a bunch. Uh, and it's not like you said. So it got made fun of a lot. It's, it's very ribald. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, three by three plate and one by three plate. Uh, one by three, and three by three, you said? Uh-huh. Have that also. Awesome. I need another three by three and a flat single. Uh, here's a craft single. A craft single. Well, if your craft singles are black, you might want to... Yeah, you might want to get a different single. <laughs> you might want to not get craft again. Mm-hmm. Or shop at a different store or something. One by three and a one by two. So hard to pick up. Nope. Oh, I just remembered. I was going to start the night with a bad joke. I was going to say, I just flew in and boy are my hands tired. You get it? Because all I am to you is a giant pair of hands. I'm flapping them. Good joke. <laughs> All right, um, need flat singles and two flat singles and one flat one by three. Two flat singles. A flat one by three. Thank you. There's a nail. I do, I do like calling those nails. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that fits right there. All right, doggies have finally started to calm down. I always get excited when we set this stuff up. Alright, one by three, one by two, flat one by three, two flat one by ones. Um flat ones are here somewhere. Mm -hmm. So here's a flat one by one. Cute. Uh, oops. Knocking shit around. There's another flat one by one. one. Right Hooray! Hey. We got there. Ducks. So was the evolution as a mystery thing by the uh, the in-house band? Oh, absolutely. I don't. Uh, 
Actually, that's a great question because it was technically one of Triple H's theme music, so it might have been been done by Motorhead. Mm -hmm. Like all the rest of Triple H's fucking music, it's escaping me now. Mm -hmm. Right now, we need sticker thirty-one. There's a license plate that says four twenty seventy-eight. Okay. Blaze it. I'm not gonna get tired of that joke. Oh. It says M.K. Okay, Mr. 42078. M.K. Okay. Good stuff. Don't eat the phone. Welcome. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to get on to you more for eating stuff than the dogs. What? I'm not eating stuff. You're totally trying to eat the phone. I'm not. I saw it. <laughs> I was trying to look over the phone, so I look at chat, because I don't have my phone out right now, because it's charging. All right, a 1x4 and a 1x3. Uh, you... Yes. I have a 1x4. Here it is. Here's a 1x3. Now I need some triangle bits. Uh, one of these and two of the, uh, lo the wider ones. Uh... Can I just mention how good the breakdown is in the song I played at the start, Back and Forth? It's just like, back and forth, wow! There's the two longer ones. Thank you. It's a very good song. Mm-hmm. I'm still a little disappointed. Why is that? Because whenever it comes up, I think, oh, it's Back and Forth by Dr. Steel. <laughs> I get to hear Dr. Steel for a little while, but it's, it ends up not being that. It's still a very good song. Ooh, hey, I found the showpiece. Ooh. Yeah. Did I fuck this up? I'm gonna leave this over here, like a mystery. How bad did I fuck? Oh, I didn't fuck this up. Okay. I thought I fucked this up. There we go. Got some curvy boys on there. Everyone loves the curvy boys. One by three plate. Um, I'm out of one by three. Or not one by three, sorry. Three by three. Oh. Uh, Though you did find the one by three very I, quickly. I sure did. All right, one by three gray. Two more curvy boys. It shows them sparkly. It's supposed to be silver. Uh, I don't see any silver pieces, though. Oh, wait, yes, there is. Very cool. Look at that. We got silver pieces. Ooh. Very oh, that's, shiny. That's probably for the, the hitch. Yeah. Maybe. In any case, I need one more of them, the silver ones. Okay. And then two flat silver one by two plates. I think these would be easy to spot. And flat silver one by. There's hmm? these one by. No, I need the gray one by oh. three. Is like I got. Here we go. The... Yes, thank you. Yeah, there's not. They are terrific Legos. Yes, exactly. Everyone loves the four. The 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 the, the curvy, curvy boys. boys. There we go. There's not a lot of printed bricks in Technic, I'm noticing. I was really sure you were about to say everyone loves the Toyota 4Runner. <laughs> what? Yeah, I really <laughs> thought you were about to say everyone loves the Toyota 4Runner. They're a terrific truck. <laughs> Can I put that on backwards? Probably. We're not sponsored by Toyota. Want to make that clear. We're also not sponsored by the Curvy Boys, though. Or Lego. Or Lego. We get out as Lego. We, 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 we paid them money for this stream. We paid them a lot of money for this stream. <laughs> hey, any executives from Lego seeing this? Y'all, I love building this shit and showing it off. And even comparing it to the low-quality bootlegs to show how good LEGO is. Which, honestly, they might not like that. Oh, yeah. 
I will specifically tell people, hey, maybe don't buy these bootlegs. We have one sort of accidentally. Yeah. Y'all have heard that story. And it is going to get built on stream into the secondary build, which is fittingly a garbage truck. So. Like, oh, if you're planning to bring out more fairy sets, we can do that for you. You mean elves? Yes. Yeah, elves are awesome, and it's so fucking disappointing that it got discontinued. And from what I've seen online, just reading between the lines and seeing reviews and things, it's because they were very popular with little girls and not popular with parents. Parents don't seem to like girls having a sense of adventure. And that's that's a that's a society problem right there. That is deep seated bullshit. Very rude. Uh, ah, that is real tight fit. You heard me. <laughs> I know what I said. Oh, that's off camera because it's too low. Now it's too high. Dude. There we go. Very popular with little girls has spelled the death of entirely too many amazing product series because patriarchy is awful, right? That's, uh... Teen Titans. A, yeah, that's assumed to be why Teen Titans was cancelled, and that's been supported by people who worked on it. It's because girls liked it. And they couldn't separate the market, so they didn't know how to control the market. They have to separate them down a binary. Which is a whole lot of terrifying bullshit. Teen Titans, the initial Ju Young Justice run, lots of things. Yeah. The current Young Justice run is real good, though. I'm actually, like, super thrilled that they have Halo and Geoforce in it, which were two of my favorite Titans. Long one. Uh, long. Cute. A lot of these wing shapes. Mm hmm. Those are to make the curvy parts of the truck. Oh, that makes sense. Because our truck is a curvy boy. Move this to the side for a sec. We do this one up this well first we can put the sticker on it, which is sticker twenty. Like Halo and Geoforce, especially Halo, have not gotten the limelight in a very long time and the re the reimagining of Halo is excellent. I just put that on upside down. Whoops. That's the thing. People think of Teen Titans as being uh, Cyborg and Raven and... I just realized that's in the wrong spot. There we go. Cyborg and Raven and Robin and Beach Be Beach Boy, Beast Boy, no, Island Boy, Island Boy, and uh, Starfire. But the Titans, I mean, they started as like Wonder Girl, Robin, and Aqualad. So they've been through a lot of changes over the years. Oh, and Speedy. No, go back, Beach Boy. <laughs> Yeah, when I used to read Titans, Halo was front and center, and I adored her. Dark times, those 90s. The 90s did a lot of shit, and a lot of things, a lot of really memorable things, for good or for worse. Those two long blue ones right by your hand. Excellent. So these are new. I don't think I've ever seen these before. I was going to say, they're very unique looking. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're a bit more common in Technic stuff, but I haven't built a lot of Technic in modern times. As I have said before, the last Technic car I had was like a race car in the mid-90s. No, thank you. Didn't like it very much. Fair enough. I want to rewatch Teen Titans because I never caught them in order. It's a pretty good show. I think it's remembered as being better than it was, but that doesn't mean it doesn't hold up at all by any stretch. I think it just happened at the right time in a lot of people's lives. So people around my age remember it very, very fondly. But it's also one of those things that if you go back and watch it again, you realize, hey, this is this is a lot sillier than I remember. It's a, it's a very good show. Mm, it's a very silly show, though, and I don't think we necessarily caught that when we were younger. It's, it's sometimes very silly, but there's scary bits in there. Yeah, but having gone back and watched it, it's about 80% silly. That's fair. <laughs> they did like taking the piss out of, like, Silver Age uh, characters. Mm -hmm. I remember one whole episode that was basically fucking wacky races. Yes. With Ding Dong Daddy. Oh gosh, that's something that's been done with Ninja Turtles multiple times too. What the way out wacky races of Ninja Turtles? Yes, that is actually a that is actually a thing that went on for a very long time, and it's been repeated in almost every Ninja Turtles series. Dang. Let's see. Gosh darn it. Yeah, this this microphone positioning is not working. I'm going to fix it. All right, all right, I'm back with the mic in its usual position. We're going to be looking into desk mics soon. They don't seem to be super expensive or anything, so. Like, they're more expensive than a lapel mic, but they're not that bad. I always worry about filtering with something like that, so we're going to need to make it very directional. Maybe get an omnidirectional for group streams, who knows. All right, um... We're this far. So now this, oh, this is a bumper. I mean, obviously, look, it's got a license plate on it. Mr. 42078, okay? Which I adore that it's Mr. 42078, okay? Okay, so that just, what, slides on here? Yes, it does. That's interesting. Then I guess we're gonna... All right, I need two size three gray axles. There's a couple right there. Thank you. And that slides in like that. Oh, wow. Oh, that just settles in perfectly. Uh-huh. Very cool. I'm impressed. I am impressed by this design, y'all. As someone who has been playing with LEGO for 30 years, I am impressed by this design. It's amazing when they manage to do something that surprises me that much. All right. Now I need... Turn this up slightly. Um, I need... Uh, size 2 round girders. Two uh, of them. And round girders. Round black girders, these things. But oh, okay. Size two. Um, um that. I like no. these. These ones. Oh. And I also need the gray ones with the cross. Another one of those. Yeah. Um, here it is. And now I need two red long clips. Those are the ones. And. A two size four black axles. Uh, I think they might be very possible. Let's 
scoot all of this stuff back. Sounds good. I can lift an entire truck with one hand. So strong. Can I get together? Oh, here it is. Yay. I actually found it before I finished my sentence, but it already had too much momentum. Mm-hmm. Something, something, Michael Cole, something, something? Something, yeah. I make wrestling references now. Yeah. Wrestling references are cool. All right, so we take these black girders, stick the gray ones on there. I really want to talk about Dasher Hatfield right now. But you are I, welcome to. The one, no, the, the thing about it is, like, that's a conversation that... She's, like, actually disappointed with how Chikar is handling Dasher Hatfield right now. Mm -hmm. She thinks they should be doing more, and I, like, figured out why they're not, but it's, like, a long conversation. Ah, uh, 78 blades it. Ha <laughs> ha, 78. <laughs> Nice. Oh, gosh. Um, can you grab the truck mascot Lisa gave me from back there? Uh, fuck. What? The Hot Wheels, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna actually... Yeah, I don't want to lean back. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up and not lean over... Lean over hundreds of dollars hundreds worth of, of Lego? <laughs> hundreds of dollars worth of very... Thank you. See, I, I really love this, not only because it's such a cool truck, but also because 68. What the fuck? Nice. <laughs> Man, look at that size comparison. This is baby truck. It's not about the size, it's how you use the truck. <clears throat> it's not the size, it's how you drive it. There we go. Now I need to make another one of those. I'll do that off camera real quick. Grab the red one. I am 100% certain, and if Lisa's still in chat, she can confirm that she picked it specifically because of the 68. Hey, did you see the most recent Monster Factory? Because, whoops, now numbers that are purposefully not 69 are funny to me. Well, we've been making those jokes for years, Xenon. Come on. It, it took the McElroys to get you into it? It's a really good Monster Factory, to be <laughs> fair. The Don Bradman. Wait, it, uh, is there a second Don Bradman's? Or is it still the first one? All right, now these... I feel like that should have popped up in my YouTube recommends, but in YouTube, all YouTube does now is recommend me page bait. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is supposed to be sideways. Oops. Yeah, does the other one does? No. Yeah. Also? Actually, like... Thank you. There we go. Alright, now this slides... Slides right up in there. I haven't seen a second one. God, I was so scared to see, to see the actual game, and I was right. I didn't see the actual game. I didn't think they went into the actual game in the first one. Oh, no, they go into the actual game. Oh, I must have zoned out. I'll have to rewatch it. Yeah, they don't... It's... Uh... So... How much do you know about cricket? I'm pretty familiar with the rules. Okay. Mackle boys do not know anything about motherfucking cricket. Ah. It was one of the games we played at Canadian school, so... Oh, right. You know, we try to do world sports in Canada instead of... Well, and, and, I was going to say instead of dodgeball, but there's a lot of dodgeball. Who am I kidding? And not because you're, like, secret part of the Commonwealth. <laughs> I mean, we're... We are. It's not a secret. All right, now I need blue clip, the small ones. Just for the one one? Yeah. Clip or an axle? They're, they're all the, it's the they're same all thing. thing. <laughs> all the blue ones are clips and axles. All right, we're just attaching, like, I got to turn the camera up when I attach this one. 
Turn camera up. Dun dun dun. They played maybe 30 seconds of actual game and they were completely lost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this not the right? Oh, I'm trying to attach that wrong. There's absolutely fucking. Like, the second it loads up into the, like, the pitch, mm -hmm. they start freaking out. It's like, I was really sure there were bases. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, knowing that baseball is based on cricket makes it so confusing when you realize how different they are. Yeah. Baseball came from cricket. Okay. They're very different, and that's what makes it so confusing, is knowing that they were act they actually came from the same idea. Wait, so all of our national pastimes are based on, like... British sports? Yeah, yeah. just Americans fucking up British Super, sports. super simplified versions of British sports. Cool. <laughs> it's okay, Canada's national sport is lacrosse. I thought national Canada's national sport was drinking. <laughs> no, that's... that's mostly Alberta. <laughs> And Nova Scotia. And everywhere else. Sure. <laughs> but it's not a sport, darn it. <laughs> okay, I need a size 5 girder, a black clip, and one of those wingling pieces. Five. Alright, what was the second thing? A uh, black clip. And Thank you. Wingling. Yeah. Oh, the wingling piece. Yeah. You know, the thing he called a wingling piece earlier. The thing I earlier. did call a wingling piece earlier, yes. <laughs> that makes more sense to me. Um, let's see, how does this work? I guess like this? Yeah, there we go. I don't suppose you would grab me a... Uh, uh, what's it called? A red's apple out of the fridge? Yeah, I can do that thing. Thank you. It might take me a while because I'm sitting on concrete blocks stacked on top of each other. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to knock them off. There were also two of player 62, so that's pretty confusing. That sounds like a bug. I love when they clock that a game of cricket can go for days. Yep. And Griffin about has a stroke. <laughs> Oh, I will have to rewatch that because I think I must have stepped out of the room while that was going on. Let's see. I need a size two pound girder again. There it is. Actually, and a long blue clip that I can't. There we go. Thank you. Now I got a drink. They actually did the uh, the. Picture the character in two positions, two selves. Oh, okay. Like, you can watch, they didn't, like, clock it, I guess, but you can watch them doing it on stream. It's like, I guess we're going to set them to the batsman, and the they set them to a couple of roles, because they thought it would They be thought stupid. it would switch them out, or... Yeah, or something, I guess. And it just duplicated the character, that's amazing. Yeah. So it's like, um, MLG the sh MLB The Show... Mm -hmm. The team with Team McFarlane. MLB The Show, that's... That was the one that had, like, bone-cracking injuries, right? Mm, then I don't mean The Show. It was it was one of the MLB games. But they had, um... I remember really specifically, like, playing it because I didn't have a lot of games, and I had MLB. So was, I looked up uh, some cheat codes, and one of them's like, Team McFarlane. Oh yeah, and it's just Todd McFarlane over it's and over? It's just nine fucking Todd McFarlane. I remember that. I thought it was going to be like Spawn and Clown and any other Todd McFarlane character because I don't know any other Todd McFarlane characters. No, it's just nine copies of comic artist Todd McFarlane. <laughs> exactly the thing you don't want when you see Team Todd McFarlane. You see Team Todd McFarlane and it's like, this could be anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's such an interesting designer. He, it's like, uh, there's going to be so many belts and chains on the field. <laughs> That's like if you typed in, or if you typed in a code for Team Tetsuya Nomura. <laughs> and all you got was, Tetsu, was Tetsuya was Nomura. Nine Tetsuya Nomuras. I don't know who that is off the top of my head. That is the designer of Final Fantasy VII and Beyond. Okay. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, all sure. the belts and all zippers. All the belts and zippers, yeah. 
He's the guy who ruined the design, the character design in Final Fantasy VII, and it's amazing. And by, uh, by extension, JRPG forever. Uh Uh-huh. Oh my god, his designs are awful, but lovably awful. You got exactly what was promised, that's very true. Yeah, not wrong. But every Nomura is in a different ludicrous outfit. See, that would make it a good code, though. I was looking up something about Final Fantasy, right? And I found out they have a car in one game. Just Yeah, that's Final Fantasy XV, which I still haven't played because it's so fucking bland yep. that I cannot bring myself to get into it. Kind of wants to split the difference between being a modern... Like, be, uh, being set in a modern place like, like Earthbound is... And being set in fucking Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they have, like, cars, and you have to tend to those cars, and there's, like, cities that look like... Okay, know, I see how Venice this connects. Or whatever. Not Venice, but, like, Rome, and you can go sit in cafes and coffee. It attempted... But there's also moogles and summons. And- it also attempted really hard to be a live-service ongoing game, mm-hmm. and then right in the middle of it, uh, the director quit. Oh no. Yeah, so it's never going to be finished. They thought this was a good idea, even though this director had been known for being dramatic and difficult to work with. I've heard that the FF FF15 port is awful. Which, which FF15 port? There's a couple of them. For a game about five boys who love each other, it's apparently super hetero. Yep. They try to make it as totally not gay as possible. It's so, it's so desperately straight. Which is hilarious because Final Fantasy has always been super gay. The PC port? I hadn't heard anything about it really, but I hadn't looked for it really. Wow. Final Fantasy fourteen for me right now is the last Final Fantasy. I'll play fifteen eventually. But that's very much an eventually. They keep bringing them out, so aren't they all basically cease? <laughs> well, that's part of the joke now. Mm-hmm. As soon as there was a second one. Uh, there's In Final Fantasy XII, you fight Gilgamesh. You know Gilgamesh, of yeah. course. Good yeah. old Greg. That good old boy Gilgamesh. And his attacks are named things like... Hot feet. <laughs> oh, then. Oh, Risby, Risby, keep going. You dork. There, go, go lay by the door. Uh, he. Oh, I don't remember what it's called now. It slipped my mind because of Risby. Gilgamesh's attacks. Yeah, they're I, all named after. They're they're all like, final. The, the what's it called when some two words mean the same thing? Homon. Homonyms. Uh, no. No, that's, that's the when they one. sound the same. Synonyms. Synonyms. Yes. So they're all synonyms for Final Fantasy. Just like, there's also another game by the original director of Final Fantasy called The Last Story, which is something else entirely, but it's hilarious. So that other, the other game made by Miss Walker, who made Last uh, Story, is called Lost Odyssey. Mm-hmm. Cause, which is amazing. Because middle finger's up, I don't care about you. Mm-hmm. I was actually, I'm actually thinking about doing Last Story on stream at some point. Hmm. Uh, on my, on a totally legitimate Wii. We actually could do it on the Wii. Yeah, we have one here. We have a capture card for it. Yeah. But or on the other I hand, could... I could just use Dolphin. <laughs> right, or I could play, uh... I have the uh, Wii, I have Tokyo... the game. <laughs> I could play Tokyo Drift Show Dancing all night, though. Mm. That's not what that's called. None of that is what that's called. Fire Emblem? Yeah, uh, Tokyo Mirage Session Sharp Iron. The, uh... It's such a bad name. It's a very bad name. <laughs> it's, uh, because, because it's, it's spelled hashtag F-E for Fire Emblem, but they decided that, that it would sound so cool if they said, no, it actually means sharp iron. <laughs> it's such a bad play. It's a very, it's a very Hello Fellow Teens moment. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So, okay, I need a black tube. Uh, black tube. And they're over there by the, by the bricks. Tube. 
And then I need a black clip and a size 7 girder and a long blue clip. There's the black clip. Um, oh, okay. That'll be that. Here's your size 7 girder. I have to count every time. Mm -hmm. And a big blue clip, you said? Uh, yes. Okay. So, yeah, Lost Odyssey. Very stunning visually, but I don't remember anything about it. That is exactly how it was for me. The last story, the last... Yeah, the last story I actually found to be a lot better. It's very memorable in its characters and such. And there's this weird subplot slash running gag that the main character has anosmia. <laughs> Which, like, everyone I know has anosmia, so it made me giggle. Can't smell anything, and that's the joke. Yep. I like Lost Odyssey a lot, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm I. The actual story stuff in the game is like paper thin. Mm -hmm. It's like there's these people that are immortals, and then it turns out there's another guy that is, that is immortal that is bad. Blue clip long and no, it's not this thingy. It's the one that's like that but twisted. Uh, but the story there it is. Uh, cause in the, during the game you unlock, like, stories from the past of the immortals since they've lost all of their memories because of the fucking Final Fantasy game. Mm -hmm. Uh. <laughs> hey, shh, it's not a Final Fantasy game. Alright, it's distinctly commercially different from a Final <laughs> Fantasy game. But they've lost all their memories and you can collect their memories and they're these cool, like, wine visual novel things. Mm hmm Uh, that are really cool and actually the thing that you're coming to that. Uh-huh. And the combat's not bad. The last story has excellent combat and memorable, if dumb, characters. And the story is extremely enjoyable and well-written and totally, totally meaningless. <laughs> Fun. Uh-huh. It's just a blast to play through. And everything about it is really good, but it's also very much popcorn. It's not something like Final Fantasy IX, where you where it leaves a huge impression on you with its allegory and its interesting characters and its well written dialogue and its stupid jokes. It just right, it's not like a Final Fantasy X two. <laughs> it's more like a Final Fantasy X two than a regular Final Fantasy. Mm. Final Fantasy sequels tend to be more popcorny, just like this. Let's hey, see. So should I play Final Fantasy X-2 on stream without playing Final Fantasy? That would be fun, honestly. Because if you com try and combine the two games together, you realize that there's so many plot holes, it's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, but taking it in its own little thing. It's yeah, stand cool. that's what I'm saying. Standing it on its own, it's, it's a cool, dumb game. Yeah. Right up until the very end when it starts sucking. Yes. <laughs> right up until the, like, post-credits resolution sucks. Oh, by the way, you know how Titus was actually a dream? He's real now for reasons. Okay, why won't that fit? There we go. Sometimes you just gotta push it in. Just gotta j j j jam it in. Push it. Uh, ba, Louder. Ba, ah. Push it. Ba, ba. Louder. Push it real good. Da, See, we're, da, da. we're combining two songs. It's a mashup. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I need a size two girder. You're... I don't have those. Uh, I think I saw one over here near um, the size threes. That's... There it is. Okay. And with that, I need a long blue clip. Oh. Cute. I think we work really well t together on stream, Christy. I also think that's true. She has cotton candy in her mouth. I bought a tub of cotton candy because it was a dollar. Oh, make sure that when you and Katie go out on Saturday, you get me some cheap uh, clearance candy. Okay. <laughs> Would you like this tub of dollar cotton candy? No, I don't really like that. It was... It was... It was... Cotton candy is like I was saying to her a bit ago. Cotton candy is ninety percent air, and that stuff's like ninety four percent air. Mm -hmm. The whole thing's like a calorie, even though it's pure sugar. 
obviously that is not really true. I'm actually going to check how much calories I'm downing right now. All of them. Now I'm in my head about it. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's pure sugar. It's a lot of calories. So calories per serving for... Uh, I'm not sure. Calories per serving for this tub of cotton candy. It was full when I started. It's not anymore. Uh, per serving is 160. This contains 1.5 servings, so that's what? Uh, 240? Yep. Calories? That's like a quarter of your day's worth RDA of calories in a tub. I think the average person needs like 1,500. And then someone who's... As tall as you are would probably need around 2,000 to 2,500. Yeah, probably fine. Yeah, just don't do it every day. Yeah, I won't. That's actually less calories than I expected from literally a tub of sugar. Mm. There's coloring also. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> it's not like it doesn't have other stuff. It's got coloring. And air. And air. All right, and I need a size 5 girder and a black clip. Size 5 girder, and a black girder. Thank you. I don't know why I call them girders. They don't really look like girders. Uh, they kind of look like girders. They look a little girder-esque, I suppose. Alright, where does this go? This goes over... It's okay, I'm balancing here. it all out with a no-calorie sparkling water. That's true. No calories means that the thing you ate before has no calories yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's cancellation. It's like doing, uh, it's like multiplying fraction. I'm yes. bad at math. <laughs> <laughs> she learned on new math. New hoo hoo math. Sure. All right. Now apparently I need another wingling piece that's printed. Um. Is there a printed wingling piece? No, these are all just. I believe all of these. Oh, never mind. That's not print. That's just showing through. Oh, okay. I thought it was like, here, see what I mean? It looks like it's printed if you look if you it does, look in close. It does look like it's printed. Here, let me actually show that on screen. Uh, your point is far down. Yeah, that's perfect, though. See, that looks like it's supposed to be printed, but that's just showing what's coming through. Once I tried learning math and it didn't work. Also, that's how I almost failed a required class at the end of my senior year in high school. Oh, that's fun. See, I uh, learned on real math, which it turns out, uh, it turns out that people who learn on new math, which was created in the 1930s, I believe. Yeah. So it's not actually new math anymore. People who learn on that system do not retain the knowledge or necessarily even get the knowledge, like if you learn on standard math. Because the idea behind it sounds good on paper, making sure you know what you're doing rather than what the actual answer is. It sounds good on paper, but in practice it just doesn't work. It's difficult for me to do uh, mathematics more complex than, like, Single digit multiples mm. than uh, or multiplication mm -hmm. without having a scratch sheet of paper on it. Mm. But uh, fuck it, I don't care because I live in the future and I have a con I have a you have a you have a supercomputer in your pocket. I have a supercomputer in my pocket. Yeah, Which... I was trying to I was trying to think of the name of the thing that does math specifically. Calculator. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> it happens. But it's simple, so very simple that only a child could do it. I love that song, by the way, about new math. Tom Lehrer is a very good musician. Is he still alive? He is was alive the last time I checked, although I haven't checked in a while. Because he sang that song in the 1930s. He's quite old, but he is still alive. And at the He would be in his 90s now. Uh, old, no, lot older. He'd be... Over a hundred now. The last time I remember hearing about Tom Lair, he was alive. This would have been four years ago. I was still working at Macy's, but wow. uh, I remember very specifically listening to an interview with Daniel Radcliffe, and Daniel Radcliffe had recently gone to one of his shows. Wow, was, still performing? Yeah. Good lord. 
He's he's got to be one of the oldest people in the world at that point. I don't. Uh, I don't. Again, I don't know if he's still alive. Mm -hmm. Well, he would be over a hundred now easily. All right, I need a size three. There, that and two black clips. Um, I did not ever get the black clips. I'm going to go get my phone. Okay. Because now I'm worried about Tommy, and I want to make sure Tommy's still. Oh. You know what? If he's not, he did outlive basically everyone on the planet. He says it's simple, so very simple, that only a child could do it. All right, there we go. So weird. It all feels like it's going to just fall out because it's not secured in there. It's very strange. And it shows it's slanted in the book, which means it's supposed to be like that. All right, now we need a size 7 axle. There you are. Oh, there's a couple printed pieces in this step. There's not a lot of those in Technic. It's usually done with stickers. So I have good news for you. Mm -hmm. Tom Lehrer is still alive. Wow. Uh, he was born in 1928. Okay, so that song was... 90. Okay, so that song was actually done later... Then it was said it was on YouTube. Because uh, that would have been in the 50s then. Yeah, he recorded songs in the 1950s. And okay. Even so, old as shit. I am very, very happy for him if he's still performing and enjoying it. Alright, we got more L's to stick red things through. For me to look at or hear math, my brain just doesn't process or take it in and all. That's a problem for a lot of people, and that's okay, because you can still be great at other things. I know that math just does not click for a lot of people, especially those who learned on new math. Which, if you look up the song, New Math by Tom Lehrer, and you realize, oh, that's how I learned it, that will, that'll tell you if you, uh... If you learned on new math or standard math. Oh, um, for anyone who doesn't know, there was a lot of memes going around when Common Core was introduced, and Common Core has its own problems, but there was a lot of memes going around when that was introduced, and they showed new math and mislabeled it as, part, as being what Common Core is in order to scare people. <laughs> I don't remember this, but then again, I was not. I'm going to go ahead and use the term politically active mm -hmm. uh, at the time. Katie, well, I shouldn't say some of the things Katie did, but let's say that she was into a lot of activism. Like, a lot. Let's see. Uh, two long blue clips, please. There are two long blue clips. Thank you. An old blue spell called Ale. I ever showed you that video? Which? Uh, French erotic film. Is that like experimental film? It's not like experimental film. Oh. Very much. <clears throat> um, it's a... Uh... It's for this French erotic film which nobody knows about and which... I'm after figuring... up to and till I explode this with this <laughs> French erotic film. I slam dunked that. That was good. I slam dunked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so, what is French erotic film? So, French erotic film was a uh, uh, was a flash animation, but it's still available on uh, Newground. Uh, not Newground. It might be available on Newground, but it's on Albino Black Sheep. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, so there's a it's a Scottish folk song called Obliskal Kaldel. Oh, it's a uh, YouTube poop. I remember that. Yeah, it's one of those. I do actually remember that, and it had Colin Mockery in it. It did have Colin Mockery in it. That was the first of the Colin Mockery series. I don't think it was the first time he appeared in a in that it was kind the of animation. 
No, it became it became what he was known for in the United States, though. Yeah. Which is funny because he didn't hear about it till like a year after it started, uh-huh. and then he saw it and he thought it was the most hilarious thing he had ever seen in his life. It's really good. Colin Mockery, by the way, really good person. Just in general. Hip dude. <laughs> Sweetest motherfucker. I haven't listened to that Mabim Bam. Oh, he was on a Mabim Bam. He was a special guest. Yeah. Very cool. I used to watch his, uh, his daughter's movie reviews. She was uh, working for that guy with the glasses and quit at some point under oh, yeah. unknown circumstances. Oh, yeah. So, I, can, oh, yeah. I don't want to make assumptions. Oh, yeah, though? Uh-huh. I don't want to make assumptions. Um... Give me two blue short clips, or four blue short clips. So now I guess we're making like the hood or the, I think it's the grill actually. I have, I have squirreled away too. My favorite um, Colin Mockery moment that I can think of on television was on a show called Corner Gas that none of you have ever seen. It's a Way show. To down a gauntlet. I mean, it's a Canadian show that never got, uh, that never got exported. All so, right. but it's about a Canadian comedian named Brent Butt. Yes, that's his real name, and it's about what his life would have been like if he wasn't famous. It's what, uh, what's it called? What uh, Louis is li- is ripped off from, and yeah, I know, dark moment there. Yeah, but. It's about Brent Butt working with his dad at a gas station out in Saskatchewan. And uh, Brent looks up at the TV. He's at the bar. He looks up at the TV and he says, hey, that's that guy. He's in everything. And then, he, and then a few minutes later, after the scene plays out, he turns around and Colin Mockery is just sitting there. <laughs> Doesn't even notice. Just says hi. <laughs> it, was, it was just so well done. All right, so, yeah, that's probably funnier if you see it, but I adored it. Nines? Yeah, those are right, and I need two... Well, I only need and one. not other girders. I need a black... black clip. Oh. Corner Gas, by the way, I can heartily recommend, even if you're not familiar with Brent Butt. Which, yes, that's his real name. That's the, that's the bit, I guess? No, no, that's just my bit. Hi, Gaston. Chill out, please. Want to lay under the table or over here on your pillow? Come on. I know. You're restless. You go up on the couch. Hey. Your hot blankie's up there. Puppy, yes. Alright. Let's get... Large black L. Size 9 girder, torch holder, one of these beige, beige clips, and a black clip. All right, doing good so far. Yeah, we're really moving it along. Mm-hmm. And granted, this, uh, this wasn't at a uh, wacky amount of pieces to start with like last week was. Uh-huh. That was the longest step in history. Yeah. I loves them too, Lisa. I've been so worried about Gaston's health lately. He's like... I don't know if his mental health is declining, but he's certainly in a new stage of it. I think that's the best way to put it. Wait, did I fuck that up? Oh, I see what I did. He's in a new stage of recovery, is what it is. And he, he flinched away from just Katie moving his food bowl wrong. His panic attacks are quiet. And that's, that's better. Now this clips on like this and puts it at a slant. And with his fever last week, that was, that was pretty scary. Especially since he was on antibiotics at the time. Or an ear infection. Alright, so I guess we got this now. It's another The Claw. 
It's pretty good, the claw. Uh-huh. I guess you can't see that very well. There we go. Rah, no one can stop the claw. It, it does move, it's just stiff. Rah, there we go. Better if you tried to move it with the base. Uh, there's no way that'll work. No, the top one. Oh, um, no. Yeah, not it really. Yeah, it it's do that stiff. Thing. Like I thought it was going. Yeah. yeah. All right, I need this, and I need a size four nail. Nail. Which I think there's only size four nails so far. So. There's only these two nails. Yeah, but I mean, in all four steps so far, I think there's only no. been size fours. There might have been a size three. No, I think it's all been fours. I need. This and I need a nut. Time for the nut. Julian, we have a long go in this. What? this. What? You you think you think we can't you think we can't nut more than once? I regret doing this. <laughs> I did encourage it, and now I'm regretting encouraging it. All right, I need another nut. <laughs> And she tosses it down like it's dirty. I don't want it. <laughs> she doesn't want a nut. <laughs> There's her glasses. <laughs> she just threw them down. <laughs> How many nuts? Well, just two so far. <laughs> okay, I need two long blue clips. And at least I didn't say it to the tune of I want to rock. That's true? <laughs> okay, I need two uh, crossover bricks, one by two. Got them by that L over there. Oh. oh. Yep. It's a joke I do, I think, every single time you ask one of those, and I. I think no. I think that's right. what. What's the joke? It's from fucking sheep. Oh, I didn't. I. I. What? Can you repeat it? I, I just went L. There's not a lot to repeat. Oh, okay. Like so, the the bit is that the the mysterious spy character is called Mister X. Uh huh. It's like, what's the X stand for? Uh, X is just a, a mysterious initial. Referring to his air of, uh, of quiet solitude. Mm. And it's like, what about L? L is pretty mysterious. <laughs> L. So do you think when they made Super Paper Mario, they were thinking about that? I really doubt it. <laughs> because it has time... the mysterious Mr. L. Right, but every time you say the mysterious Mr. L, I do think about it. <laughs> I would not be surprised if someone on the translation team who decided that that's what his name was going to be, had seen Sheep in the Big City and saw an opportunity. Good show. Mm -hmm. I recommend it literally every chance I get. Okay. Like I'm doing right now. Or told her, long blue, small gray tube, and red clip long. Yep. Alright, so, put the red... And the torch holder together. Pop that in there. I take the blue and the tube. I would just like to give a huge motherfucking shout out who for, to whoever operates the town's air raid siren for waking me up in time for the stream. Well, I'm glad you're here, B. Hi, B. We uh we have ours tested every every not every Saturday anymore. It's like every other now. No, it's still like every Saturday. Oh, I think they I think they cut it in half. They said they were backing off of it, but they did not back off of it. Oh, okay. Well, it only wakes me up every other Saturday then. Yeah. To be fair, we do get a lot of tornadoes. Yeah, it is important that we have that siren. It's kind of frustrating though. That testing it kind of makes people numb to it. All right, we need... It's important that it works, but it's also important that people listen to it. 
Our, ours legally can't be gotten rid of because of county legislation. Ours can't either. Nor would I want it to be. It is actually a very important piece of infrastructure that somehow Mary Fallon did not manage to get rid of. She got rid of all of our infrastructure. Uh-huh. She did build a giant bird. Allegedly. <laughs> yes, she did have a giant... It's, I had no idea that was supposed to be a bird until you told me. Yeah. It's just... It's supposed to be an art installation. It's the most bland corporate shit ever. It's a giant, like... It's four... Long clips. Uh, goddamn isosceles triangle. Just up above the highway that have LEDs in various colors. It's supposed to be a scissor tail flycatcher, which is our state bird. But it's not. It is not. <laughs> it doesn't really. It doesn't really. Oakland has a lot of bonfires at all hours of the day. Uh, Oklahoma City used to until they actually started cracking down on that a few years ago. Uh, so can I talk about the tornado sector? You can. Uh, bad. So May third, uh, the May third tornado, right? Mm-hmm. It's a, uh, it's a, it is an event in Oklahoma history. It was probably the worst tornado. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the worst tornado the state has seen. Mm -hmm. uh, it was terrifying. It was very terrifying. It was also in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, and also a lot of other people's but uh, fortunately we escaped unscathed. But the sirens went off, and we recognized that it was going to be super fucking bad. Mm -hmm. So we were like, okay, everyone go to the high school, because that's the like big mass shelter, because we didn't have like a, a tornado pit of our own. Nail. Uh, it's right there. Oh, it's behind some bricks. Yeah, it's. I've tried to put most of the stuff to make the next one. Oh, thank you. Um... So, we, we all get to the high school, and uh, my mom's worried about us. I'm playing with a Tiger Electronic thing, so my brother was trying to keep calm. My dad says, all right, I'm going to go out, and uh, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go look and see how bad it is. And he doesn't come back. Ooh, Jesus. Yeah, he just doesn't come back. And all of the results, are, all of the like news reports are like, it's fucking bad out there. Mm -hmm. don't go out go to somewhere safe because it is fucking bad mm -hmm. so we're deeply worried uh the the hullabaloo ends and we finally see our dad again mm -hmm. and it turns out that what had happened is he went out because he was going to get a pack of cigarettes so that he so that he could have cigarettes while he was there because he had gotten to leave the house with any and then got trapped at the store God damn. Yeah. That is not a smart move. It is not a smart move, no. <laughs> that is that is bad decisions, Jones. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to I'm willing to like tell that story because it ends up being okay. Uh huh. That's the important thing to take away is that everything everything for us worked was out. Fine. Everything worked out somehow. Yeah. There we go. All right. So the claw is no longer a claw. It's not flexible. So that's four nuts right there. A lot of nuts. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of nuts. Yeah. Remember that movie? It's a bad movie and I hate it. I don't know why you're so hostile to it. Honestly, it's it's... I, as far as I remember, it's pretty inoffensive. I haven't, I haven't gone back to watch it recently, but... There weren't any casualties from the tornado in the Appalachians, but it did fuck up a few farms, yeah. That's what he said. No, Andy, it's what she said. He can't go around taking her job. Christ. It's true. Well... <laughs> <laughs> it used to be a more common thing around my general area in the Midwest. There seems to have been a lot less. Oh, we must be getting them. They must have all they've, centered into Oklahoma. Uh-huh. Oklahoma has always gotten tornadoes, and it got really bad a few years ago. Uh, starting with the uh, famous May 3rd tornado that was just talked about, I believe. Uh-huh. And then there was more bad years after that. Yeah. 
the nice thing about the neighborhood we're in right now is we're in a place in between we're on the side of a hill facing another hill so it's actually very difficult for a tornado to come down on us and because of the hill it's also difficult for it to flood yes we can't flood the water will just go down the street Resby, what are you doing? You want to? S oh, you smell that outside too, huh? The weird burning smell out there. It smells like it smells like crack. Honestly, I shouldn't. I can't just say it's a weird burning smell. I'm gonna say what it fucking smells like. Why should women be treated equally? They only make two thirds as much. God damn it, B. <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> I think that's a good that's, joke. That's not an okay joke. <laughs> The last real tornado I remember was the one that destroyed the whole school. And then it's just the rare watch and low speed tornado. Uh. Okay, so I just noticed that Andy has our gold subscriber badge, which means we probably do too. Let me see. Let me type something into chat. Yes, the gold subscriber badge is officially active, everyone. Does that mean we've been streaming a year? That means we have been... Uh, not partnered, uh, affiliated for a year. Hey, We've it's our anniversary. Uh-huh. You just hit one year? Then, yeah, I guess we did, too. That's amazing. Uh, That's... Hang on. Got it. All right, we got a, we got a celebration coming. Got it. I didn't turn up the volume on my phone. Don't, don't bring it too close. Oh, that's not even going through. Perfect. I have an app. Hopefully that didn't deafen anyone. <laughs> wow, so that means we've been streaming for almost two years, and we've been affiliated for a year. Didn't I sub? I think you subbed a month later. Tomorrow? Okay, then, yeah, tomorrow. We don't get anything past the year badge unless we hit partner. So uh, everyone, everyone tell your friends to come watch us. Because, <laughs> like, for real, if we can get 75 average viewers over 30 days, we're partnered, and that's amazing. <laughs> we, have the, we have the capability to uh, apply for partnership. It's different. Uh, they do still get to say, no, you're not partnered because you do too many cuss swears. Oh. But, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, we can apply. Yeah, at that point I say we incorporate and be like, yeah, that's how we're doing our taxes. Let's see, where is the other thing I need? That's the question. Black one. And this one. You have seven gifted subscriptions now? Good lord. What other thing do you need? What other thing do I need? Yeah, you said what was the other thing that I need? Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. I found it. I was wondering if you would, uh, in one of the two show pieces that I've hidden. <laughs> um, you shouldn't be hiding pieces. You'll, like, we'll know when it's time to put these pieces. I'm certain it will be a thing. Mm-hmm. And I need one of these and black clip somewhere. Uh, black clip. Right Thank there. Thank you. I had to go get a pillow because apparently sitting on uh, concrete bricks is really, really hard on your butt. Uh huh. There we go. So oh, that looks pretty good. And now we attach to this one. Please be kind to your behind. I'm also excited for Lego truck. I'm glad others are too. Oh, nope, don't do that. <laughs> I just heard myself say, please be kind to your behind. I actually don't hate my voice tonight. I think I sound better than usual. Uh, 
Honestly, I'm surprised by how big a fan I have of trucks, considering that I got hit by one once. I've also been hit by a truck once. I've only really become a fan recently, because that the, 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 the stupid joke Katie made became a meme with us, and then it became a real thing with us. And now we're the truck community, so I got interested in trucks. It all, it all works out. It's, it's weird what becomes your brand. Uh-huh. It's not something you can really control. All right. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way. I need a torch holder and a black clip. Torch holder? We're running out of black clips. Well, I need two of them and another torch holder. Uh, that's great. I don't think we own. Oh, no, I have a bunch. Yeah, there's a Which bunch right there. A bunch. You grabbed a bunch of them. I sure did. I forgot I grabbed a bunch of them. I thought, oh, I haven't, like, centralized them. Hmm. But no, it turns out that I've done that thing. Torch holder? Uh, I thought I put one down. No, I grabbed one. Okay. Yep. Oh, whoops. This goes the other way. I want a munch. Squad! Wow, this camera is really warm. Must be working overtime. I think they've actually fixed our cable lines. I think they finally did it. I'm shocked. I'm also shocked that no one came to the door to tell us, hey, we actually fixed it this time. So we're gonna make a call to them and uh, tell them, hey, it's finally fixed and it's gonna be great because we are absolutely gonna get credited for the eight months they failed to fix it. There we go. So yeah, I guess this is like the grill. It kind of looks like it kind of looks like Optimus Prime's chin. A little bit. I still think that's the hood, actually. I think. Uh, yeah, the, you're right. Yeah. It's both. Okay. Oh, it is both things. Yeah. Cool. So that's cool. I got winged by a bus. I'm on the fence about them. I love buses. Buses are mobile disease centers that should be abolished. Absolutely not. Buses are an important part of just transportation for the poor. On the other hand, they are disease. Yes, they but do need a, to be cleaned better. That's a, actually an issue. Like, that's the other issue is coming from the other way. Yeah. Because if the they need to poor care. people are sick more than not poor people, but that's because the fucking healthcare system. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, it's an infrastructure problem. Yeah. And a hating the poor problem. Um, Public transportation is the most important thing that America has basically abolished. Yeah, that's the thing, Andy. The execution is terrible. In Oklahoma City, there's like what, like four bus routes? There's more than four. There's like eight. Okay, there's like eight bus routes for one of the largest cities in area in the entire world. Just let that sink in. American buses suck in all but a couple of cities. I don't even know how a fucking semi-truck manages to do 80 at an intersection. Jesus Christ, yeah. The car was some early 90s American car made of steel everything, which is probably why I survived. Well, I'm glad you're here with us. Me too. All right. Um, black clip and blue clip. Uh, big or little? Small. I've been trying to say large if it's large and nothing if it's small. Okay. <laughs> which is my town actually has a bus, which is unusual for a town this small. Yeah, our our city has like eight bus routes. They run like maybe 12 times a day each uh i think it's slightly more than that but not a lot more like the bus stop out here it only gets a bus every hour i think uh a little longer than that because that particular route's a longer route right where i grew up originally where i was born uh vernon british columbia it's a town of maybe a, or at the time it was maybe a hundred thousand people maybe a little less and it had a full functioning bus route, uh, buses every half hour at every stop. Canada, Canada does the public transportation a lot better. 
We have two Ubers. Wow, we're basically the big city. 100,000 people is a lot. I mean, Oklahoma City has like 1 in 1.8 million, something like that. Don't look at me like I know. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, and Oklahoma City is basically empty even with that population because it's so big. All right, now I need a blue clip and a handlebar to ride my bike without. We're the poster child for urban sprawl. Yes, Oklahoma City is where urban sprawl comes from and where it goes to die. Pennsylvania only has one city over a million. Uh, I think Oklahoma has just two, Oklahoma City and Tulsa. And Oklahoma City is a metropolis, so it's technically like eight cities. All right, now I need two wingalings. I think it's Philly. That sounds right. Oh, this is a backwards. Yeah, I was about to say, these there's, two are... There's mirrored ones. There's right. 22 and 21. All right, well, I need 22 then. Ew, I like that they're printed like that. Okay, it does say that on the bricks. We've just been lucky up till now. It says it in the instructions, what number. Uh, I've heard of Tulsa. That's where UHF was filmed, by Weird Al. I've actually sat in the, uh, the, the lawn of the gas station where, uh, where the uh, beginning happens. All right, I need a 2x3 system plate, two silver grills, and a gray curvy boy. I think it's gray. gray. Yeah, gray, not silver. Um, no. Oh, no. Q and also a... No, that's the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to tell me the difference between the wrong and right one? Yeah, one has bumps on the bottom and the other has uh, holes. Gotta be here somewhere. Is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, that that was hard to spot because there's other pieces that are very similar but incorrect. All right now, this goes does not do a good job of telling me how this goes. I think it's like this. see yeah that looks right honestly that story among others is why i almost never i know somebody who got stranded at some airport in tulsa in the 90s getting stranded at an airport is pretty common right, i like, like that uh, assembling this is a multi-person project yeah the first night was exhausting i'm so glad christy offered to help all right now we take this and then we Stick it in there. Wait, this has got to go upside down. There we go. Now we j j j jam it in. I guess it just closes in like that. Oh, that's cool. It diagonals on there and fits flush. Nice. Oh, I like how it focused in and just zoomed. That was cute. I just happen to look over at the camera preview. <laughs> All right, let's see. Never gotten stranded at an airport, but I have missed flights flying out. I've been stranded at a bus station. That's really unpleasant because they don't even have amenities. That was a Greyhound station. All right, now. Get that in there. Yeah, buses are also taken care of better in Canada, so. You know, they're actually cleaned out multiple times a day. Disinfected and everything. The seats are constantly cleaned. I'm sure it's not that well, it's not done that well in some places, but in Vernon it absolutely was. Certain stops where it was longer, they'd say, all right, everyone get off the bus for a minute. We got to do the disinfection. And. What are you looking for? Um, a size two gray girder with one cross and one hole. 
Thank you. He founds it. Then I need a blue clip and a black clip. Stranded at a bus station is awful. You've been there too, huh? Mine was in Atlanta, Georgia. Which, by the way, that city is creepy as shit. Okay? Like... Y'all, y'all know about, um, oh my god, I forgot the correct word for it and I feel like an ass. When they separate people by race. Segregation. Segregation, thank you. So, Atlanta, Georgia, the amenities are segregated. Like, not governmentally, of course, but there's only black folk on the SkyTrain. And there's only white people on the buses. And it's weird and creepy and makes my skin crawl. Confident that I haven't cleaned my mini in a while, but I also don't let clutter pile up in it. And also my mini doesn't have a bus worth of people in it. Yeah, buses when they're not taken care of can be kind of gross, but they're very important nonetheless. Alright, I need two blue clips and a system crossover brick. Oh, wait, I meant large blue clips. I'm sorry. Oh. I have this whole thing. Uh-huh. I take full responsibility. I want to say Atlanta ranks in, like, the bottom five for most integrated cities. It's even bad for Georgia, which is impressive. That was my experience. I was stranded at, a, uh, at an airport by an airline. Mm-hmm. How'd that go? Because the well, I was on I was on a a plane trip. We don't need to discuss why I was on a plane trip. Yes, but uh, got we the plane touched down in uh, where I was supposed to make a connecting flight, mm -hmm. and we just were on the runway for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Like we landed, and then we couldn't get up to the terminal because there was or to the gate because there was a there was some sort of problem at the gate. Mm -hmm. Then finally we slid in, like, way late. I knew I had missed my, my connecting flight already. Mm -hmm. uh, but I went and asked about it, and it's like, hey, I just came off this thing, and it's like, this was my connecting flight. And they kind of looked at each other, the the two people at the, at the customer service, and I was like, why are you looking at each other like that? And it's like, is your name this name that you don't go by anymore? It's like, yeah. Uh... We were waiting on you to board the other plane so that we could free the gate. Wow. Yeah. That is incompetence. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I need a 2x3 system plate and a gray curvy boy. The top ones. I should have specified a gray 2x3 system plate. <laughs> That's the wrong curvy boy again. Um, Here. I should say top curvy boy and bottom curvy boy. You know, they, they love each other very much. Curvy boy top and curvy boy bottom. And I need one of those little corner curvy boys. Like, uh, like this one. Um, has a just a triangle like cut this. out of it. Yes, that's the one. And we plug that on there. My mind is telling me Buffalo, but why the fuck would I go to Buffalo? I mean, they have good wings. Uh, what? That's where they're from. That's why they're called Buffalo Wings. Oh. They actually do have good wings. That's not a joke. <laughs> I definitely have no idea why I'd go to Buffalo because I know people in Hamilton that I can stay with. <laughs> Alright, now we get this in here. Just heard a Mastodon thing, but I didn't I can't see the other monitor. There we go. I love that buffalo wings are so ingrained in culture that it sounded like I was making a bad joke. Yeah. It's just what the thing is called. Uh-huh. 
Hamilton is a great city, but it gets too much hate. I don't know anything about it. Uncle lived in Buffalo for 12 years. On his birthday every year, my mom would call him and be like, Happy birthday, why are you still there? <laughs> Alright, I need four small blue clips. Oh, we're almost done this step. Yeah. 10.30. Uh, we may actually get done at 11 for once. I could keep going, but I don't want to keep everyone up super late. Yeah. Last week was pretty dank. Last week was brutal, and that was just the one step. To be fair, it was like most of the cab. Uh-huh. Like, and look at the size of that cab. Look at the size of that. Oh, and, my God. Oh, Lord. Christy. Oh, Lord, it coming, huh? Look at that cab. It's it is so, so big. Big. <laughs> 90s kids. That's, that's funny, because my mom's name. <laughs> <laughs> and she's also a super catty bitch. Mm. Alright, I need a size 8 system plate, 1x8, and a 1x3. Gray system plates. Uh, 1x8. By... Hooray! I knew you were going to make that joke. Yes. An absolute unit. I mean, we're from the 90s. It's actually illegal for us not to make that joke. All right, so um, that looks like a 1x4 flat system plate. What, flat system plate? Yeah. Or 2x4, sorry. I can't count at all tonight. I keep making that same mistake. And uh, one of these tiny winglings. There we go. A wing it looks like a paper or a box cutter. It does kind of look like a box cutter. All right, so. Hey, Katie and I found a box cutter while we were out at the out at the at the food place. Oh, I didn't hear that. Yeah, we were like looking at cereals in these. Mm-hmm. Cool. You all of them. Uh, just the one. Okay. I'm we're, gonna need another one, actually. We were looking at the cereals, and we were just, like, next to some donuts and Pop-Tarts, there was just a stray box cutter mm -hmm. that clearly a worker had, had left there. Uh -huh. uh, opening boxes, because, you know, we were there late and they were restocking. Mm -hmm. So we just had to wander around with a box cutter until we, like, found someone working there. Because we didn't want to just leave a box cutter where a kid could pick it up. Uh-huh. See, I've got this knock, knock, knock sound for my phone's ringtone. And it trips me out constantly because it sounds like the Cartoon Network beat. That goes at the end of, like, Adventure Time. Where it goes thump, thump, thump. Da-da-da-da. And it's the same three knocks. Why do you live in Pennsylvania? Come to the South. We have uh, cheer wine and racism and biscuits. Come to Oklahoma. We have racism and... Poor local government. Poor local government, yes. People apparently keep uh, electing people who actively work against them, so... Uh, it's interesting. On the other hand, we got family. Chosen family is the best family. Whether it's sisters-in-law, or dads, or dogs. Chosen family, the found family, is always the best family. And I would not have it any other way. Alright, now I need one-by-one one system brick. Brick, not plate. Those one by ones look like one by ones. Yep. Thank you. We've at least mostly got gerrymandering to blame for our assholes in chief. I'm sure that's a big part of it here, too. And let's see, I need two two by two black plates, one one by one gray plate. And this slanty boy. 
probably shouldn't say that because it could be taken as a slur by a giant asshole. Yeah, huh? So I gotta come up. How about diagonal boy? It can be a diagonal boy. There we go. Get your face a boy. The whole list of bullshit that gets shitty people elected. Diagonal boy! I feel like there has to be more than just name recognition as Pennsylvania has really cheap and good racing. That's true. Slip slap slide boy. There you go. <laughs> I like that one. Slip slap slide boy. Slip sliding away, Mark. You know, the nearer your destination, the more you slip slide in a way. Mario 64. Yes, that too. Not Super Mario RPG Legend. This is yes. Mario 64. Yeah, slip slide in a way was on the ice level. Yeah, yeah. And I always loved it because that's one of my favorite old Paul Simon songs. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. Ba 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 ba. Um, I need two of these babbies. Right. You know, the nearer your destination, the more you're slip sliding away. Paul Simon is like my favorite folk musician. You know, sometimes I wonder why I left Canada as well, but at the same time. You know, found good things down here. And also in Canada would be homeless and destitute. I think that's the whole sub build. Why my memory is so bad though. I know mine's bad because of migraines. Migraines and a couple of other neurological, psychological problems. Um, let's see, we gotta turn it this away. Flip it on just like, just like that. And then go to hell before you die. Oh, wow. Good old Cap and Lou. There's a man I'm afraid to look up too much information on because I don't want to ruin the memories. Uh, he was in the wrestling industry, so... That's yeah, what probably. I mean. <laughs> that is exactly what I mean. Yep, I was confirming. <laughs> Not that I know things about Captain Lou Albano. I also kind of don't want to look up stuff about Captain Lou Albano. Pretty sure he got injured at some point, but you're not sure? Yeah. Did I go to hell without dying? I mean, that's what Captain Lou Albano says happens if you do drugs. You go to hell before you die. Alright, so now I need a 1x8 and 1x3 gray plates. This out the way again. Because we haven't been authorized to add it to the... 2x4 flat. Hey, I got it right that time. Yes, Lisa, I am not recommending you do drugs, but you do go to hell before you die. Yeah, if what you want is to hang around in hell. Alright, I need two of the roof roof pieces. The roof is on Lego. And a 1x3 flat. I don't know, in my experience, drugs don't often feel that much like hell. Well, clearly you're not Captain Lou Albano. If you want that, like, the sort of Diet Coke hell experience, you just read in case comment. <laughs> I don't think I said that loud enough to get picked up by Mike. Probably is better. <laughs> Probably for the best. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's one of those few artists with a cool style that hasn't turned out to be a piece of garbage. Yeah. Admittedly, that may because, be because they never communicate beyond their art. That's true, yeah.
Yeah, I remember all those drug PSAs said they said drugs are bad. Did you ever see the... You're probably too young to have seen the Pee Wee Herman one. So Paul... What's his Rubens. name? Paul Rubens uh, was, had to make a PSA about drug use, and he decided to make it, but he could do it however he wanted. So he, uh, he did it in character as Pee Wee Herman. Kids. Just barreling down a camera in the middle of a black void surrounded yes. by a smog machine. It's amazing. And he says, kids, don't do drugs. Don't do... This is crack. It's, uh, it's, it's incredible. You have got to look that up. It is absolutely incredible. <laughs> Andy might remember. Andy's probably old enough. <laughs> Is that the egg one? No, that's not the egg one. The egg one's silly, but not nearly as ludicrous as Pee Wee Herman. And then there was the Rachel Lee Cook egg. It was ludicrous, but in a different way. Yes. Do Literally cackling Cook? because, yes, I do remember. Risby, no. Don't go through that way. Uh-uh. Risby. No, go around. You don't need to go through the wires. Go around. Risby. No. Go around. Come on. You know how to do it. Come on, this way. Jackass. That's the thing about dogs. They're, uh... They don't try to be assholes, but sometimes, sometimes they'll test you. And then he got to be firm and be like, no, don't step through the wires. Go around the obvious clear path. <laughs> Rachel Lee Cook did the egg one and then did a retraction version recently that was good. I've not seen that. I remember the one where she just starts smashing the egg and screaming. Yeah, yeah. And that was based on the old, old, this is your brain, this is your brain on yeah. drugs thing. This is what your family goes through, and your friends, and your job, and your self-respect. There was a great robot chicken skit uh -huh. where she ba just basically became an unstoppable monster smashing her way across the city just with a frying pan. My the favorite. police had to call her down with a helicopter. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> My favorite is the weed one with the guy that says, I'm here, find me. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. It's the opening to Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> What? Uh, that's not the right music. <laughs> the disappointing thing is they never did a PSP, PS, PSP, PSA about your brain on Weeb. Yeah, the original, she wrecks the kitchen. The new version, she addresses the inherent racism and dehumanization in the war on drugs. Well, hell yes. That's actually very good. Uh-huh. I'm glad that that's... Uh, actually starting to get out there to the public because we've been pushing for that for a very long time. Okay, I just looked up and I saw a bucket swinging and I was like, wait, why is that bucket swinging? And then I saw my daddy walk out of the kitchen and he bumped the cabinet. Freaked me out. There's not a lot of lights on in the house. Mm. Yeah, we usually just keep a couple of lights on. <laughs> and then the, the, like, the back... And the front of the house are lit most of the time. And then the middle of it is just pure darkness. Um, you can see part of the back of it past the box, but you can't really see that it's dark. If you own a PSP, your brain is already on Weeb. I say that as somebody who... I also own a PSP. I need to get a new charger and a new battery for it. It's, uh, it's hacked for uh, uh, personal use. And not playing backups. No, not even a little bit do you have ROM files on. No, well, I wouldn't have ROM files because it uses it yeah, uses optical. Yeah, not even a little bit do you have ROM files on there. It uses optical disks. All right. Um, I've lost track of what I'm doing. I need a one by two black plate and a two by two black plate. Right. The Gaston goes right for the right for the easy way through. The Gaston is a lot less stubborn in general than Risby. 
All right, now this is up a bit. Personally, like the flat joist. Yeah, the the thumb pad or the thumb stick is pretty pretty nice. Circle pad, I forget what they called it. In Xenon Canon, I own every single game, therefore all emulation is technically legal, I think. It's a gray area, at the very least. There we go. Clip that shit on there. Wow, that is that is some hardcore stuff. That up. That's real big. Uh-huh. Look at that. All right. Let's move this out the way. Because next I need a 4x4 four four gray plate. A one by one and a uh need the one by one in gray, dark gray. And I need a two by two in black. What? Uh no, but it is the dark gray. There's not There's gotta be. No, there's the light gray one. Well this shows dark gray. Oh, this gray. is dark gray. Fuck me. She's got them all side by side, so, so it's hard to tell I, them apart. I made like a tangram square with them because I love tangram, and that, that's that's a bad mistake when you're trying to sort things by what size they are because uh -huh. they're exactly flush with each other and they just look like all one thing, which it's, is holistically pleasing, but it's it is. They are very definitely um, high quality Lego pieces. So they just stick flush with each other. It's just a flat surface. <laughs> Did y'all hear about the new Mini Cooper SJCWGP for 2020? I actually did see an, uh, an article about that, but since I'm not super into cars, I didn't really look at it. It's supposed to have 300 horsepower and a wicked body kit. It just got announced this week. That sounds very cool. It is very cool, but when I looked at that in the chat, I swear to God, I, I read it as the Mini Cooper SJW. Yeah, that's what I read too at first. I was like, it runs on soy and comes pre-key. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I need another one by one. Uh, one by one. Thank you. There we go. Two by three black, and I need a one by three black. I just heard. Where? Right there. Oh, it's behind the camera. Like, y'all can see it, I can't. I'm not a Final Fantasy character where I can see whatever's on the screen regardless of where I'm standing. They use that several times in Final Fantasy IX, in fact, to great um, effect. That's actually one of the few things I didn't like in Final Fantasy IX. Just because you can, or just because Zidane, or just because you can't see it, Zidane can't either. Zidane, I'm actually not sure how his name's supposed to be pronounced. Zidane, yeah. I like to think it's Zidane, or Zidane. But as much of a huge Final Fantasy IX fan as I am, I was never sure how that was supposed to be pronounced, so I've always just said Zidane or Zidane. Could be Zidane for all I know. All right, now we need a gray and a black 3x3 three three plate and a 1x2 uh, black plate. Thank you. This goes like this. And this. Oh, Jesus, Final Fantasy names. Yep. I mean, my character in Final Fantasy XIV is named Serena, spelled... Who's, who's doing that? Is that just Risby? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I actually did this wrong. That needs to come off. The, I say Zidane because there's a footballer who spells it the same and pronounces it. That makes sense. We'll go with Zidane from now on, then. All the Final Fantasy... Characters named after footballs? This is nine. Are all the Final Fantasy nine characters named after footballs? I hope not. Because if they are, then there's a footballer named Adelbert Steiner. That sounds like a footballer name. <laughs> it kind of does, actually. Like, from from uh, from the north of England. Yeah, from Man, Man U. 
Adelbert Steiner. I love doing his voice. I've got to stream FF9 at some point. I started playing 358 over two days, and see, the problem is I can't pronounce any of the organization's names except Roxas and Zeon, or Zion, and Axel, but there's 14 out of all 13. <laughs> so a lot of other names I can't say. Adelbert Steiner sounds like the dude who sold me my health potions. <laughs> I want them to be really clever and just go with one of the unpronounceable words like XKCD. Uh, Adelbert Steiner is like one of the coolest characters in the series. Because he is captain of the Alexandrian Knights of Pluto! Now I need a 2x3 black plate. Are there no more black plates? It's gotta be a 2x3 black plate. Under the... under the truck? No. Huh. Oh, here's a 2 by 3 black plate. That's gray. That's a gray plate. Oh, wait. No. Um, no? Wait. Yeah, it is... Oh my god, I've got stuff backwards, but yes, I still do need a 2 by 3 black plate. Uh, we've got bad news for you, fam. That's not good. That's not at all good. Bad news. I didn't knock anything off. I feel like I would have noticed, and also you would have. Oh my god, this is not cool. I'm going to move the cardboard box. Okay. I'm going to chase it. Is that it? No, that's not it. What the fuck is this? That's the truck. Oh, that's a hood ornament. Yeah, I was saving those. Not good. This is not at all good. That's a fairly large piece. Kuja is a, is a trans allegory, Andy. He had to hide his tail. Um, no. no. Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to put up the BRB screen real quick while we look. So don't go anywhere, please. Alright, panic over. I found the thing. See, see that? No, you can't see that. <clears throat> see that? Right there? I accidentally used a black one instead of a gray one. Because I can't tell the fucking difference. <laughs> So, let me just diverted. Let me just fix that. Got that gray one there. Enter photo mode to take cool truck picture. <laughs> and yeah, Kuja was a deranged villain. He did have his uh what's it called? What's it called when a villain turns out to not be so bad? Uh, face turn. <laughs> that's the wrestling term, yes. I don't know what you wanted out of me. <laughs> well, that's good. He does have his face turn at the very end, and Zidane, Zidane is also a trans allegory, so at least there's, you know, the good and the bad and all that. At what point does dark gray make the crossover to being black? I mean, Redemption. it depends on the light. Redemption, yes. Thank you, Xenon. Thank you, Xenon. It's definitely not the worst. I think that for the time it came out, it did pretty good. It's kind of like looking at Moira Gatton's old writings, which I've been looking at a lot since I realized that uh, Moira from Overwatch is named after her. <laughs> uh, some of them are outdated but you realize that at the time they were making huge strides forward with that stuff hmm? yep. okay christy says nope i don't know what about all right there we go now i need Two one by four plates. There's one.
Where's the other one by four plate? Um, Here somewhere. Where's uh, that big stack of gray plates you had? We've used them. We've used them all. No fucking way. We're not missing another piece. I refuse to believe it. We weren't missing the other piece. Yeah, so. but we're not missing a piece. I refuse to believe it. But then we wouldn't have those later. That's the trouble. Ooh. I mean, it's a great big... It's a great big set. Yeah, still, Lego never loses or never fails to include pieces. I've almost never had a missing piece in a Lego set. I don't understand how we don't have this. I fuck up somewhere here? Am I supposed to have used something else here? I'm going to take this whole step apart. See if I fucked it up. Uh, Here we go. Okay. Ah. All right, there's step one. Uh, we got back down to step one, which is actually step 480, by the way. I'm going to put a four here. One here. And then two by three goes here. And doggy walks off. And a one by three goes under here. All right. And then for the next step is a sub build with this, these attached together, and then this goes like this. And those attach right here. I take this three and this one and attach them to a two by three black one goes like that and this attaches to here and then we should have two one by four black plates and we don't so I didn't build it wrong I don't see them on the floor maybe it ended up in a different bag somehow wouldn't that be something would be okay, I'm gonna hit BRB right 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 quick Please don't go anywhere. I'm going to just take a quick glance at some of these bags. So the great thing about having a rather large Lego collection is while I don't have the exact piece because I don't have my old sets from when I was real little, but what I do have is two of these extra in the exact right color, and this step does not require it to, it to support any weight beyond that point. So that fits perfectly. Oh, I love Lego. Alright, now I need these two silver curvy boy tops. I need those two printed bricks if you can grab them. I think are our only printed bricks so far. Everything else has been done in stickers. No, get off of there. Your stream froze, but my voice is still happening. Well, uh, if that's not happening for anyone else, try refreshing your page. Uh, uh, did we drop frames? Um, we did have an event where we dropped about a thousand frames. Which, when it's only one event, not a huge deal. It looks like it's been stable since. Still seeing video? All right, B, you're going to have to refresh. We can't do anything on our end then. Anyone else who feels like they're behind, 
just hit pause and play and that'll catch you up. Does be seriously? All right, now that we've got this front grill, and stick it on here. Maybe. I have to do that off camera because that's awkward angle. Curvy boy tops, specifically Lisa. <laughs> Well, now we gotta stick more pieces on there. Gotta get one of these diagonals. Gonna need one more printed brick. Oh, the good one? Uh huh. And that is the big old Mac logo. Oh, I actually need other stuff to put under it. So that's suboptimal. Right. These go on here so that it can be centered despite there being an odd number of uh, pips, bumps, whatever they're going to be called. Studs. Studs. No, stud is a specific type of piece. Uh. And now I'm distracted thinking about curvy boy tops. <laughs> round bonkers. There we go. Round of bonkers. I like that. You remember bonkers? Bonkers the bobcat who's on the beat? Uh-huh. Only every fucking day. He is. That is. That is a cartoon that was supposed to be Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Yep. And it wasn't. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. I need the hood ornament now. Oh, I was really hoping it'd be like the last thing, and it'd be like a cherry. Ah, uh, they want me to put it on now. Okay. There we go. Is doggo? Is a doggo? Now there's three doggos. Yeah. Let me turn that. Oh, here comes the third doggo. Is a little little golden doggo. <laughs> Studs. Alright, so now we are attaching Oh finally. The hood. Truck sixty eight. Truck sixty eight. Ready for duty. <clears throat> Soldier sixty nine. My phone made a sound when I said Soldier 69. It went nice. Uh-huh. Tempted for a while to put a truck horn on the Mini. Oh god, that would be so obnoxious, B. Is that illegal? Depends on the state, I'd imagine. Alright, so this connects. I'm gonna have to do this one off camera, aren't I? That is way too hard of an angle. Okay, yeah, this is gonna have to go off camera. I'm sorry, everyone. Bloody shit. Did I make something wrong? Surely not. What's what? happening? I'm worried I might have made something wrong. Because it doesn't seem to fit how it's telling me. Well, that looks correct. Clip that in there. All right, there we go. Oh, I see. I see why it didn't fit. It's because that lifts up more. So that's just because I was misunderstanding how the uh, technics of it work. Wow, that you can't see shit. Can't see shit. Look at that. That is the hood all the way up. I really want to do it to fuck with people. That would be an awful way to fuck with people, though. Also, I would never use my horn because I feel guilty about it, right? Okay, let me see next. 
Get this out the way. So big you can't really get it out of the way. It's still partially on camera. I need this L. Oh. And I need the blue clip. Whoops. Now this clips into the back. There's another clip on the other side. Basically, I'm attaching the other half of the hood. I may be able to do on camera, but maybe not. All right, so, whoops. Thickest truck it is. That truck is Lorg. You're right, I should get a truck horn. <laughs> Live your life. Uh -huh. Hey. There we go. That actually attached pretty easy. Now the hood is all attached. Ain't closing it. You were almost finished the entire cab. Or almost finished the entire truck part of the truck. After this, it's going to be the trailer that we're starting on next week. All right. Two of these wheel well, wheel well bits. And then I need a um, long black clip. The long black clip is my favorite. Oh, I was trying to think of a, an actor in The Long Journey Home, and I couldn't. How The Long Journey Home? I don't know. The movie, I think. Do you mean Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey? No, that is definitely not what I mean. Are you, are you sure you don't mean Milo and Otis? <laughs> I definitely don't mean that. That movie's ruined forever, knowing how it was made. Yeah. That that shit's horrifying. You know there were three Homeward Bound movies? I did. I watched them all. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Are any of them good? I mean, the first one is. Yeah. I don't remember the... need this and I need a one by two three one by two plates one dark gray one translucent orange and one clear so here's the translucent here's a gray uh, you got a clear it's clear for a given value oh those clear ones oh the clear ones yes the ones that you said yes <laughs> all right so we take that Put the other dark gray one there. Attach the clear orange. And click that together. Do something legal to acquire the item. Wow, Twitch is slowly becoming crashier and crashier. You may need to reboot. That happens to me sometimes. All right, let's grab two of these uh, curvy bottom boys. I was about to ask if Windows was maybe telling you in a very Sundere way that it wanted to update, but, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Windows is... Windows, they, they've, like, intentionally made it bad at this point. This time it crashed for you, too. Well, that's on... I guarantee you that's on Twitch's end. Oh, no, we lost about 2,000 frames in there. About fourteen hundred. All right, so they didn't fix our line. That's that's garbage. It just we had a good couple days there. I was real excited that maybe maybe they fixed something, but <laughs> no, we lost uh, we lost a bunch of frames. All right, we're almost done for the night. Curvy tops, boys, and curvy bottom boys. Exactly. Get you a curvy that can do both. <laughs> curvy switch boy. Heavens fans self. Go to your ISP and say fuck off. I mean we would, except there's literally no other ISP we can use. There are not other options in our area. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we gladly would have done that thing. Mm-hmm. It's also why they think they can get away with jerking us around for eight whole months. Uh-huh. I have very strong opinions about our ISP. Uh-huh. They're not opinions. They're facts. Quit eating hair. 
He can't help it. He can't help but eat hair. Alright, um... So, now we gotta... Oh, I should do that on camera for sure. If we don't give them back their modem, they're just gonna keep charging me for it. And I don't wanna buy their fucking modem. Uh-huh. Alright, drop that down. By the way, make see if you can make sure you can get that back to them tomorrow. I was gonna do it Saturday. Okay, that's fine too. Because I'll be able to remember it. Okay. Because I don't remember anything between the time I wake up and around about 10 a.m. Makes sense. All right, we slip that into the slot. Oh, oh, uh -oh. no, don't come apart. You fucker. You absolute... It did come apart a little. You absolute shit horse. How does this fit? God damn it. See, now I gotta try and figure this out off camera. Figure out how this goes. Figure out how it do. That goes like that. And this side goes this way like this which means this piece goes here all right all right i got it now we try and do this again without breaking it okay. i'm still on the camera right. there slide in and then don't fuck with it okay the router overheats router overheats a lot or breaks after midnight some nights. I mean, it may be the router, it may be your ISP. The infrastructure is failing everywhere, it seems, especially with cable. I wouldn't be surprised if it especially fails at, like, late nights when, you know, most people are asleep. Mm-hmm. Won't notice. Mm-hmm. Lost anymore? No, we seem to be stable for now, so that's good. If it's only those two events, that's not that bad. And I hate to say that, because that's 3,200 frames lost. But that's not that bad compared to how it's been. It has improved, I'll give it that. It just has not improved to a point that's acceptable. Is 32,000 frames like five minutes? 3,200, and that's like... 100 and something seconds. Oh, so like... That's only a couple minutes. Yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about that. <laughs> it's a couple minutes over the course of the rushing is bad. Yeah. Not good, as long as it happens all at once instead of just repeatedly over and over again, which is what was happening before. Yeah. But we got to admit it's getting better. You have to admit it's getting better. So better all the time. It can't get no worse. <laughs> Things are gonna get worse. Yeah. I love that show, though. Even if I'm not fond of the uh, the comedian, that that show is that show is a masterwork. It's a show about how incompetence happens at every level, but especially management. Less bad is definitely an improvement of, of sorts. A wild Christie appears. Oh, did she end up on camera? I, I purposefully stuck my face in the camera while you were rebuilding that thing. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. All right, now, next I need curvy bottom boys. We're almost done here. Down to six viewers. Darn, we were doing real high numbers for a minute there, and I got all excited. We're but thank you for everyone who stuck around. You yeah. guys are awesome. We're absolutely going to pay to the ISP. Oh, gosh. I need this and the other smoky one, just like it. There's that smoky one. Yep. Nine with two shitty ISPs to collectively have reliable and fast internet. Oh, yeah, just, 
just switch which router the modem's connected to every time we start losing frames and then reset everything. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds even worse. And that's what Lurt does. Oh, yeah? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I guess, yeah, since they're on Victoria Island, they'd have like five or six to choose from. Uh-huh. Because Canada has actual infrastructure in place for this stuff. All right, there we go. There's that. And then we need... Uh, Xenon's talking about her cool lava door idea. You weren't there, but I have a great Minecraft idea to install a deadly lava door run by redstone. I I was there. Oh, you're talking to B. B. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant I wasn't there, and I got confused because I totally was. And yes, it sounds awesome, but I'm worried that it's just going to end up burning everything to to death. Because that's what happens every time I try to use lava for anything. It's it's a fickle mistress. Mm -hmm. The lava. Lava's an asshole. Lava is an asshole. Go. Oh no, my plan went wrong. I hope it's not near my tracks. Yeah, no. <laughs> She was, she was hoping to pull the bee caucus in, but they weren't having any. Ah. Uh, so, um, let me think. Is there, can, in the nether, can you build a gate anywhere you want back to the normal world? Yes. Because I really want part of my railroad to go through the nether. Like, uh... So, so space in the nether is compressed overworlds. Yeah. Um, and you can create wow, a mine cart, good. and you can create a mine track in the nether and take it a little ways, and like make another cart, mm -hmm. and make another gate, and then it'll come out somewhere else in the world. The thing about that is that unless you know precisely what you're doing, it's just going to show up somewhere, which might be deep underground, like what happened to me. Well, I mean, that's fine. Because then I can build out from the underground, like I've done multiple times now. That's true, I guess. I think this is a good idea. <laughs> we should totally do this next week. I'm not going to tell you not to. It's How about when difficult. it reaches Xenon's island, we make a nether gate there. And the tracks go through it to the nether, and then they pop up in Mufasa. I think that those gates are going to be too close together, and they'll end up being oh, the same gate. Oh, right. Yeah. So we'll have to figure out something else. What about TNT? Yes, nether tunnel, it'll be like the Jersey Turnpike! <laughs> That's so good. What does it mean the New Jersey? Have you ever been on the Jersey Turnpike? I've not been on the New Jersey. It's horrific. Have I been on the New Jersey Turnpike? All right, so that's the last of this. That's the last of us. That's not. We what? did it. No, no. We did it, everyone. We're, we're finished. We're, we're finished streaming forever, apparently. No. We've made this decision. It's the last of us. No. Never coming back. No, by us I mean the front part of the truck. No. Oh. All right. Wow, all of these extra pieces actually look like extra pieces this time. They look like things that should be left over. So, look at this baby. Holy shit. Size comparison. It was a good run. So that's the first half. If you'll note... We still have the entire trailer to do, which is very complex. Look at all these green things. Because it is a Mac Anthem, which is just super fucking cool. There's also these struts. I don't know what they're designed to do. I think that's for loading the uh, trailer on. Oh, no, that makes sense. And yeah, we're going to continue that next week. Holy f... Holy... Proof ass I four wa. That is an impressive specimen. I am very proud of this. This is amazing. All right, 
Obviously, I have long, spindly fingers, but my hands aren't huge. But, yeah, there's some size comparison. Think of it this way, my hands are perfect for the GameCube controller, if that gives you an idea. This... Wow. So, next week we start on the trailer. Ooh, let's see if we can get a good dramatic angle here. There we go. Turn it up just slightly. Ah, that's good. That's really good. Oh, hang on. Chrome wheels, limo tint. Getting god rays in there. Yeah, I'm giving it some hero lighting. Oh, that's actually really good. That looks super good on camera. <laughs> Weird thing to say, but your hands remind me of my hands. <laughs> You got spindly fingers, too. Your fingers are not as proportionately long and thin as mine. Well, I'm, I, I have a chromosomal disorder that causes my fingers to be very long. So I'm surprised that yours are longer. <laughs> of course, my hands are also a little fat now, so that might make my fingers look shorter. So yeah. That is the first half of the 42078 Mac Anthem Lego Technic truck, and I am in awe of this. I am in awe of this boy. What an absolute unit. So after we're done building it, we're going to eat it, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Just making sure. <laughs> if by eat it, you mean build the bootleg version of it. Right. That Was that not clear? <laughs> So thank you so much, everyone who joined, everyone who stuck with. You guys are awesome. And, and oh, schedule. Schedule's the thing. Just eat it. Schedule's the thing that we should go over next. Truck Vor, there you go. Uh, tomorrow night, Katie will be playing Deponia. Chaos on Deponia, the second one. She's in, like, the third act of the second act of the second game, is how she put it. And it's... It's very funny. <laughs> it's it's hilarious in its misery. Saturday morning will be Christy playing Magic, probably? Quite probably. All right. So tune in for that if you're awake Saturday morning and you realize that they don't show cartoons anymore. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday will be Sue playing more Earthbound. She's reached Saturn Valley, and Mr. Saturn is the best. Risby, chill out, please. He just heard me start talking in a scripted manner, and that makes him nervous, I think. Uh, Wednesday, no, not Wednesday. Wow, I skipped a couple days there. Monday will be Christy continuing with Crypt Worlds, which is an incredible journey for her. Everyone feels very differently about this game. She started out afraid and then became more curious. Meanwhile, I found it warm and comforting and beautiful because it's very similar to the way the world appears to me on a, on a regular basis if that makes sense tuesday will be andrea continuing with pyre uh without poor tizo well i shouldn't say poor tizo tizo got to finally see this place that he's wanted to see his whole life and he's gonna have a good life and lead a rebellion and that's awesome Wednesday is uh, community. community day, and uh, maybe we'll build a nether tunnel. Who knows? God, I hate the nether so much. Is there any way to stop spawns in the nether? No. Hmm. You, you can build a fucking, like, safe space, but they're going to be outside. Oh, so we'd have to build, like, a glass walls again? Yeah. That's doable, though. We can make a big glass tunnel. I hate the nether so much. <laughs> it's bad every time. But, it's never good. But if we build a glass tunnel, then it'll be safe. And we can just look out on the nether and laugh. <laughs> anyway, next Thursday we're gonna start building we're gonna start building the uh the good old trailer for this here. For this here Mac Anthem. And hopefully you'll you'll y'all will keep joining us for this stuff. Thank you so much. I'm going to go play some Overwatch if anyone wants to join me. And Xenon says, hey, Christy, imagine the nether, but with a lava door. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Alice.
This has been uh, me getting paid to play with Lego. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs>